<laughs> hey, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArcleTexHomepage.com, your Tuesday morning forecast. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and uh, we're transitioning to that point in the fall where we do have the uh, stronger cold fronts making their way through, and we do have a chance for some severe weather, especially later this afternoon into the evening and uh, probably towards about midnight tonight. So we've got a pretty big window here where we could see some storms pop up across the Arkletex today. That said, let me get you started as far as the uh, severe storm risk for today. See that marginal risk all the way down to I-20 does include Shreveport and Texarkana. And then the slight risk, which was a bit of a higher chance of seeing some high wind gusts today and maybe an isolated tornado as well, is going to be up across portions of McCurtain County. little sliver there of Little River Howard and Sevier counties and uh, also Red River County in Texas and Franklin, Titus Camp and a little bit of Upshur County. So those locations there north of I-30, the highest threat as that cold front makes its way in later today of seeing uh, potentially just a few strong storms there. Again, high wind gusts will be your main threat today. Also the possibility of uh, maybe some flash flooding in some locations. We could see some heavy rain at times there north of I-30 and the tornado threat, while low, that still does exist today. And I can show you that, uh, especially where we have that slight risk can play across portions of McCurtain and Red River County. That's where we could see uh, maybe just a quick spin up. Not looking at anything as far as any strong tornadoes today. So I don't think we have to worry about any widespread uh, severe weather in that case. But the, we'll have the potential here for maybe a few, just a handful of storms to have uh, strong to severe characteristics. Talking about 58 mile per hour wind gusts or higher, that would make it a severe thunderstorm in the uh, case of the high winds there. As far as your temperatures, let's set this whole thing up for you. Low to mid 70s this morning. So we still have that uh, warm air in place. We're getting a pretty strong south breeze out of the uh, off the Gulf of Mexico here at about 5 to 10 miles per hour and that's pumping a lot of humidity moisture into the Arkletex which will be the fuel for some of these storms later today and also have some warm air in place this afternoon as most of us will warm into the uh, low and middle 80s once again today about 86 in Shreveport, 85, Texarkana and low 80s north of I-30. My hope today is that we can kind of limit the sunshine that we see this morning and maybe temper the uh, high temperature somewhat so there won't be as much of uh, that warm air for those storms to work with. But either way, probably going to be a warm day here. Not seeing any rain yet this morning and uh, likely going to stay dry for much of the morning here. So just expect a breezy, mostly cloudy and mild start to the day. But you can see that cold front pushing the whole weather pattern towards uh, central Texas, central Oklahoma this morning and uh, likely going to see things ramp up for us this afternoon. Texar Robbins Toyota, Texarkana Future Cash. So in the quiet morning here, again, probably becoming overcast by the middle of the day. May see a few pop-up showers between about 10 and 2 o'clock this afternoon, but I think we've got a few windows here. One, we may see uh, initially the thunderstorms increase at about 2 o'clock out ahead of that cold front, and if we do see uh, maybe an isolated tornado threat, that may be it a little bit earlier than sunset across some portions uh, north of Interstate 30 there. Notice some of the storms ongoing across uh, portions of Arkansas and Louisiana as well. And then you see the main cold front taking shape once we hit sunset tonight, and that's going to scoot in north of I-30, and that's where we may see more of a high wind threat and also uh, the potential for some brief heavy rainfall that could lead to some localized flooding in those areas but the front will likely weaken once we get past midnight tonight of course we lose the daylight heating and things like that so the uh, rainfall will begin tapering off tomorrow morning could see this activity through Texarkana after midnight and again Shreveport maybe closer to uh, three four o'clock tomorrow morning before we start to see some of the frontal boundary related rains make their way in that said there could be some scattered storms uh, out ahead of that as we go through the day today and into the evening tonight and then future cast those blue wind arrows showing up indicating that we will see the cooler and drier air make its way in as we go through the day tomorrow. As far as the rainfall, potential won't be a big rainmaker for most of us, but watching those spots uh, along and north of Interstate 30 where we could see one to two, possibly a little bit higher amounts depending on how those storms set up later tonight. But uh, again, once we make it through today, should have a rapid clearing trend once we get into the afternoon tomorrow. More comfortable temperatures, upper 70s, low 80s through Wednesday, and we'll really feel that cooler air pour in Thursday, Friday as we're looking at highs in the 70s and overnight lows in the 50s, which is actually below normal for where we should be and then it looks like we do have another front that will stall across the region next Sunday into Monday so there will be some scattered showers late in the weekend not worried about any severe weather there but it looks like some uh, definitely cold air will make its way in late this weekend into next week possibly looking at high temperatures in the 60s and maybe overnight lows in the 40s.